Hey what's up guys and gals, Rick9G here and thank you for joining me in this video especially if you are not a subscriber and uh, you are new. So thank you so much for watching first of all, I want to get this out there right in the beginning. Alright so before I get into the first tip I do want to have like a disclaimer. Um, of course all these tips can help everyone. However for some people maybe you're advanced, maybe you've been playing this, maybe you know every single little thing about this game. Hey of course these tricks and tips you'll probably know. It's not like they won't help you, but you'll probably know them. This is more for someone who's maybe starting out or maybe has played but really doesn't know that much about the game. And so hopefully this will help you out. Or if you're having trouble with the game, my goal is to help you out. So number one, if you go up here, um, of course these are the Taito coins as I call them. Um, and right now I have 12. Let's say that I have been placing things. I am going to use this on purpose to use all of my points. I'm using all of these electric points or all of these, what do you call it? Energy points, whatever you want to call it. Um, see, I'm at 12 right now. Let's say I really need a lot of points. Well, you hit that plus right there and look at this. Um, if I want to buy 10, I'm at 14, boom. I spend three of these and now I'm up. So that might really help me in case I'm in danger or I really need it. Now I can buy some blue gamma, uh, blue gamma grass, or maybe I can buy an animal and so forth. So that's the first thing you can buy with your coins points. Number two, I would always suggest starting with the bottom of the food chain and going up. Yes, you can start placing animals right away in a world. I wouldn't recommend it though. Um, let me show you over here. This is the best way and I think the most productive way of doing that. All right, so for tip number two, Thinking about the food chain here, we're going to start with the bottom to the top. The way that works is going, starting from the right and then moving on to the left. Decomposers are all the way at the bottom, meaning that they um, are the breaker downers. They break down all the dead animals and plants that are left over. Then I would move on to plants um, and I would get different plants and start placing some plants. And then from there, I would move into animals. I would start with smaller animals that are not predators. I would start with herbivores and pollinators to start out. Once you get a good population of them going on, then of course you can start moving on to things like prairie dogs and finally antelopes and so forth. Number three, um, I know some people are doing this, but maybe some of you have not really paid attention to it. I would if I were you. It's the biggest uh, thing that you could do to improve your game and that is right here the bio decks right here this red button um, this is so important you might say for what well um, you might think all these plants you know are good for one reason and that's well they're just plants well no they're good for different things for example the common milkweed the monarch butterfly caterpillars love this so let's say you place this next to butterflies that really boosts up what you're doing um, another example, the health aster. So this is mostly consumed by herbivores. Okay, so for example, buffalo grass. Now buffalo grass is good for uh, deer, antelope, and so forth, but also bison. So maybe this wouldn't be the best thing for let's say like a rabbit. So when you read this, it gives you a lot of information. Same thing for animals. Um, let's say a bobcat where you're like, well, what does this eat, right? Well, it tells you fish reptile, birds. Number four, I think the temptation is to go right into animals and be like, well, I'm going to get the coolest animals and so forth. But I think before you should get a variety of plants going. Why? Because certain animals eat certain plants and certain trees help things like insects and ants and so forth. And so make sure you pay attention to that so that you're not just putting the same plants because they look nice. Number five, hold off on the animals and what I mean by that I think you should be placing animals right on the end right when your ecosystem is blooming once this is you know 98 percent or above so you got a really good ecosystem then you start putting the animals in and you start regulating how many plants you have number six check the detritus level so I am zoomed out with the mouse wheel here how do I do that I just click on any animal group right here and look right here detritus level is one Five would be maximum and it goes up from there. Um, basically, if you have a lot of dead animals and plants, this will start moving up. How do you get rid of the detritus? Well, putting more mushrooms and earthworms. So 
I would really look at that. Make sure your detritus level is low, is basically one all the time. Keep it at one. So that will prevent you from having problems on top of the food chain. Remember, the bottom is a foundation. If you have a weak foundation, everything else on top will crumble. And number seven, I think this is great advice. Uh, checking animals and plants. This is a big deal in the game and it will give you a lot of a heartache if you don't do this. So for example, plants, if you zoom out, you can individually hit a plant or click on a plant and see what's going on. For example, let's see. These tell you 50 out of 50, so that's like the health of that plant. See, this one's 97 out of 100. It's got a bigger life. It tells you when it's pollinating, all this cool stuff. Um, and so every single little plant you can actually click on. Look, look at this. I can actually click on individual ones here. And so that's very important. For animals, same thing. But this only gives you the hunger level. So how hungry this animal is as opposed to this one. However, if you click here, this is really good. Because this tells you the population. And if your population is low like it is here, there's a problem. You either got to put more or maybe got to put more plants that they like so that they can survive and so forth so i want to really thank you for joining me for watching this video please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't i would really love to have you join the family and to look at all my videos uh, i think you will all enjoy them uh, please don't remember guys and gals to be hopeful no matter what you do if you're experiencing any problem issue frustration anxiety don't forget that every day is a new day and things will get better. I promise you. Tomorrow's a new day and the sun comes up every single day bringing new opportunities and new life. So don't forget, be hopeful.